Hello, my name is Karin Chong, the Genius, and in a short time, we are going to solve this uh, question here. This is actually question 11. It says, using the following three groups of data, perform a one-way analysis of variance using alpha equals 0 0.05. And these are the groups of data. So, we are going to carry out one-way ANOVA very easily in a very short time, and I'm going to show you all the steps you are going to take. Actually, you can also uh, read up using this link. You can read. You can also download the Excel spreadsheet. This is the Excel spreadsheet. You can get this Excel uh, spreadsheet. But I would like to say that try to make out time to go through the procedure first before you get the Excel spreadsheet. This is the Excel spreadsheet. is free. You can download it. But try to go through it yourself in this tutorial we are going to use now. All right, so let's start from the scratch. So this is our question, and these are the three groups I want to perform one way and over. All right, as usual, we need to transfer the table of data into MSSL so that it becomes easier to work with. And this is the Excel table that has been created. So go ahead to open Microsoft Excel. I use Microsoft Excel 2010 go ahead to open it and then we are going to copy the data and paste right into Microsoft Excel so so this is it let me uh, save this file as one way ANOVA one way ANOVA I'm saving right in, on my desktop okay alright so copy the data if it's tabulated, you just copy it from the web page and then you go ahead to paste it. I like pasting it starting from the second row. Alright, if you have copied correctly, then you will have exactly what we have below. Alright, so this is what we have. Let's uh, take a look at the next step. Right, so group one, group two, group three. All right, so we need to also create all groups. All groups means that you need to copy the different groups and stack them on top of uh, each other. So what it means is that let's assume that I, sorry, okay. So let's place all groups. This is what we have. Let's call this all groups okay so what you are going to do to get this is to copy this paste it here copy the second one paste it here and copy the last one and paste it right here so this is what we have at this time okay so Now we are going to calculate the mean of all the groups. We are going to calculate the mean. So what it means is we are going to calculate the mean for group 1, the mean for group 2, and the mean for group 3. So let's look at the procedure. You have to calculate the sum and the mean. The sum and the mean. Then we have total sum and total mean. Okay, so let's go and do it. So let's say, let me just give it a little space here. All right. So let's say this is sum, and this is mean. Uh, this is total. Let's call it this. Um, okay. This is also sum and mean. Okay. So I hope you followed uh, right up to this place. Um, all right, let's go to the next step. Remember that to calculate sum, just use this auto sum here. Use this auto sum, okay? So click on it and press enter. So it calculates the sum of group one. So the sum for group one is 241. And what you are going to do is to simply drag 
all the way to group 3 okay if not you can also do the same thing on that group 2 and 3 but the easier thing to do is to drag it so let's calculate the mean you to calculate the mean you say equal to average then you select all of these and you press enter you can also drag from here all the way to this place but I'm going to show you another way to calculate the average in this auto sum you can see this uh, triangle dropping down just drop it and click on average and now it tells us average C3 to C8 now we don't want C8 we want it to stop at C7 so just change C8 to C7 and then press enter and then you can just you can just uh, copy the formula and paste it there it calculates it for you so I would like to make this bold let me add a little color to the header just to make it look a little different alright so this is where we are let's look at the okay so I think we need to calculate the total sum and the total mean right so total sum total mean all right so the total sum is actually the summation of one two three so let's place this total sum here and put the formula to be equal to this sum plus this sum plus this so it gives us 767 and we do the same for total mean equal to this plus this plus this and it gives us this so here we calculate the sum to calculate the sum just say equal to sum open bracket and then you select all of these and then press enter on the keyboard and the same thing goes for the mean just say equal to average and then you select all the data and press enter so if you look at the two you find out that uh, the, the mean of this is not exactly the same as the the total mean which is okay so here we have okay I think the total mean here should be the same as the total sum um, okay let's see F3 to F17 okay this is uh, total mean okay so b9 plus uh, c9 plus d9 that that is not the correct one so what we are going to do is to say equal to average and then select uh, this range of data okay so it gives us the same value right but we are going to maybe change it at a different time to be exactly this just as it is but let's continue all right the next step now this is where we are so calculate all the means which we have already done set up the null and alternate hypothesis which is what we have I already set it up in this web page you can just take a pen and a paper and also write it specify uh, the rejection criteria alpha is equal to 0 0.05 let's see okay 0 0.05 we are going to talk about this uh, close to the end of this uh, video all right now step 3 we now calculate the sum of squares I have uh, 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 some constraint in time so let me uh, stop this video and start in the other one so remember subscribe to my channel right now if you've not subscribed and also like this video